Day 30 of my Sunchoke series. So as you can see, I no longer have this jar directly under the lights. And the lid is askew. It's a jar. Yeah, the temperature around here, 23. You know, it's cooled down lately. Over here, I just moved this thermometer here. You know, it's already 27. So yeah, things get hot there. And before, I'd have the jar here. So I don't want 100% humidity. And right now that's 41. Sometimes it's 30. You know, it kind of varies. But if I have the jar lid closed, then it's 100%. So having a jar like that is somewhere in between because it's all water on the bottom and I spray every day uh, once or twice. You know, I found with the lid jar, it doesn't really matter as much. As you can see, uh, this looks pretty good on the right. You know, there's all sorts of growth. For a while, I was getting kind of worried because some of the leaves, the outer edges were a little brown. Now they seem to be yellow. But uh, maybe the hydrogen peroxide springs were too frequent and harsh at 1.5%. So in any case, I've decided to start using just distilled water. So every time I spray, usually in the morning, you know, when I turn on the lights and I leave the house, you know, that gets this wet and the dead layers of skin, you know, on the outside, basically they soak up water first. And then you'll see beads of water uh, be left on the shoots, which are waxy. So that proves that, you know, the tubers do have some capacity for absorbing water and you can trigger some growth that way. But without roots, you know, that thing on the left, you know, it's just a goner. It looks pretty burnt at this point. And the bottom is all shriveled up. You know, I mean, it's got places that look promising, but, you know, it's all shriveled up, pinched up over there, as you can see. That never happened with uh, this tuber. i show you the bottom of that. See, that still looks healthy. It's not all pruned up and dried out. So this has growth everywhere. And this, you know, has green spots, much like that does after I exposed it to light for a few days. But, you know, nothing can come out of it. So it can't intake any water. It's screwed. All right, it's day 34 of my Sunchoke series. I have a nice new setup with two bath towers, weight plates to anchor them down and anchor the clamp lamps. They're all wrapped in aluminum foil. Nice and shiny. My Sunchoke jar is over there. The thermometer clock says 24 Celsius or close to it. Be sure to check out my Growing Sweet Onion Slices series. So this jar is positioned so the tubers are kind of underneath the edges of these two clamp lamps. Can take a lux meter and show you what the conditions were like. You know, probably around five grand or less in terms of lux. Depends on where I place it every day, right? So that's a set of conditions that I felt was good for um, tuber root and shoot growth simultaneously. So as you can see, the one on the left, you know, that's kind of dead in the air. You know, it's not really doing anything besides getting some pretty colors. It's pretty shriveled up compared to what it once was. And for the tuber that's successful, you know, there are these new shoots coming out that are verdant and beautiful. They're almost fluorescent green coming out of dark purple cones. Very cool to look at. And, you know, likewise with that one between the two tubers that has two healthy roots just kind of hanging there in the air. But now these older shoots around this like spawning site you know it's got a root that's kind of uh sticking up and coiling all over the place you know that just doesn't know where to go but it's still alive and healthy i think spraying once per morning before i leave with work and before when i turn the lights on you know that's the best course of action and if i spray when i come home a nun you know like maybe once or twice that's too much, so I'm sticking with one spring. I'm going to turn the lights on in the morning. 
every 24 hours and it seems to be working you know the new leaves coming out of these uh um you know burn looking funnels of leaves these shoots you know those look fine so i think if i leave this alone and stop spraying you know one or 1.5 percent hydrogen peroxide solutions it'll it'll do fine and you know uh yeah, I think I might discard that. You know, it's it's not really bothering me or anything, but you know, I think it's hopeless. So yeah, I'll just keep this in conditions like this. And I'm thinking about fertilizer. Maybe I'll get a new spray bottle and use some, you know, very dilute hydrogen peroxide, maybe 0.3 or even less percent, and put a few fertilizer pellets, maybe even some of those like blue. Miracle Grow fertilizer crystals, but just a tiny bit, and you know, spray this every day. I think that would do something. Although I'm not sure whether this really needs micronutrients at this point, because a tuber should have all of that. <laughs> 